Hi, today we are going to discuss the basic concept of differential equations. Today we learn how, what is differential equations, how to find the order, degree, linearity of differential equations, how to determine the equation is homogeneous or non-homogeneous. So let us start first. You can see here, I wrote a differential equation. So this is a standard form of differential equations. Here you can see all dependent variables and each derivatives I wrote in the left hand side. Only function of independent variables I wrote in the right side. So this is standard form. This is an nth order differential equations. Here y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable. So we can define differential equation as an equation containing the derivatives one or more dependent variables with respect to one or more independent variable, variable is said to be differential equations. Here we use two types of notations, dy dx, d squared, y dx squared, this is called Leibniz notation, and y prime, y double prime, this is called prime notation. So in the next page, we we'll discuss how to classify the differential equation as time. Here, first we classify differential equation as ordinary differential equations. So the differential equations which contain only one independent variable is called ordinary differential equations. Here I give some example. You can see here y is dependent variable x is independent variable. So this is a first order differential equation because the order means highest number of derivatives. Similarly here, the number of derivatives is two, so this is a second order ordinary differential equation. There is only one independent variable. In this example, you can see x and y both are dependent variables and t is only independent variable, so it is also first order ordinary differential equation. Same as when the differential equation contains two or more dependent variables, then it is called partial differential equations. Here you can see x and y both are independent variables, u is the dependent variables. So this is a second order partial differential equation. Here x and t is independent variable, u is the only dependent variable, so it is also second order PD. Here y and x is independent variable, u and b is dependent variable. That means two dependent variables, two independent variables. This is also first order PD. So finally we can say that if the differential equation contains minimum two independent variables, then it is called PD. So there is no restriction for dependent variables. It can be one, can be two, can be more. Similarly, in OD, if there is only one independent variable, then we call it is ordinary differential equation. There is also no restriction for dependent variables. It can be one, can be two, can be many. In this slide, we will discuss how to determine order the order of differential equations. So order means number of derivatives. So we can see here the number of derivative is one. So it is first order. Here also the number of derivative is one. One time derivatives only. So it is first order. Here you can see these examples. The number of derivative is one, but this is the power. So we call it is first order ordinary differential equation because this is power, this is not the number of derivatives. Similarly here, this is number of derivatives two, so it is second order ordinary differential equation. Here number of derivative is two, this is also second order, but this is power. Similarly here the number of derivative is three, so it is third order. Here the number of derivative is three, so it is also third order. 
So if this is only function of x means function of independent variables, it can be any power. So it is not order of derivatives. So similarly degree. So degree means we have to look at the power of highest order derivative. Means that you can see here the power of highest order derivative is 1 but the power is 2 so it is second degree first order differential equation. Here we can see this is a second order differential equation but the power is 3 so it is third degree second order differential equation. Here I write here this is 2 means second order differential ordinary differential equation but the power is 5. So but this is a, not the highest order derivative, so we call this is first degree, second order differential equation, not the fifth degree, because this is not the highest order derivative. So for degree, we count this one, the power, so the power is one, so this is second order, first degree, ordinary differential equations. Now we, we will discuss how to determine linearity. A differential equation when it will be linear, when it will be non-linear. So a differential equation is linear if it satisfies only these two conditions. Otherwise, otherwise it is non-linear. So the condition is, so here y is the dependent variable, x is independent variable. So the con two conditions related to dependent variables. The power of dependent variables and its derivative must be 1. Then it is linear. The second condition, the coefficients of dependent variables and its derivative must be function of independent variable or constant. So that means this coefficient, this coefficient cannot be function of dependent variable, then it is linear. So that means if the differential equation satisfies these two conditions, we call it is linear. Otherwise it is non-linear. So it means that if a differential equation contains this type of term, the dy dx whole square that means the power is 2 here not 1 so it is non-linear. Similarly if the power of y is not 1 here the power of y is half so it is non-linear. But if the coefficients look like function of dependent variable it is also non-linear. If the coefficient is look like derivative of dependent variables so it is also non-linear. So means that if a differential equation will be linear if its coefficients of dependent variables and its derivative must be function of independent variable or constant. Similarly, second condition, the power of dependent variables and its derivative must be, must be 1. The power must be 1. If it is not 1, so it is non-linear. So now, here I will explain some example why it is linear, non-linear. So we can see here, it is a second order differential equation, by, but what it is, why it is non-linear? Because here you can see 10. 10 y means, when we expand the 10 y, we will get the terms look like y minus y cube by factorial 3, y5 by factorial 5. So that means when we extend, when we expand the 10y, here you can see 10y, 10y means y minus y cube by factorial 3, something like this. So that's why the power of y is not 1 it can be 3 or more so that's why for this term for this term it is non-linear similarly we can see here in the second example you can see in the second example this is 2 so it is second order the power 
is 1 is okay, the power is 1, but the coefficient here 1, but here the coefficient is y, that means y is dependent variable, so that's why it is nonlinear. Similarly here, the coefficient is x square is function of independent variable, so it is okay. x also function of independent variable, so it is also okay. Here ln x also function of x is supposed to be in the right hand side, y is supposed to be. This equation we can write like this, x square d square y dx square plus x dy dx minus y is equal to ln x. Here the coefficients of d square y dx square is x square so it is function of independent variable. Similarly here the coefficients of dy dx is x is also function of independent variable and here the coefficients of dependent variable means y is minus 1 is also constant so this is a second order linear differential equations. But it is g of x is ln x means that is non-homogeneous. So in the next page we will discuss how to determine order, how to determine homogeneous or non-homogeneous. In the first example you can see here this is a second order because the highest number of derivative is 2 but here the coefficient is 1 minus x, here the coefficient is minus 4x, here the coefficient is 5. That means the coefficients function of independent variable or constant, that means it is linear. But it is non-homogeneous because the function of zx means the, the terms without dependent variable is cos x, so it's not zero that means it is non-homogeneous. Similarly, we can see in the second example, here the coefficient is x, here the coefficient is minus 1, the coefficient is 1, so it's okay, but the, the power of d cube y dx cube is 1, but here the power of dy dx, that means power of uh, dependent variables or its derivative is 4. So that means it is nonlinear. If it is 1 then it will be linear. But this is homogeneous because there is no terms without dependent variable. That means d of x is 0. Similarly here this is a fourth order ordinary differential equation. T is the independent variable, y is dependent variable. So here the coefficient is t, also t cube, 6, that means okay, the power of fourth order derivative is 1, second order derivative also 1, the dependent variable y also 1, that means it is a linear, homogeneous, ordinary, fourth order ordinary differential equation, but here the dependent variable is u, here the dependent variable is u, independent variable r, so we can see this is a second order homogeneous or non-homogeneous because when we expand this term, cos of a plus b, we always get cos a, cos b, that means cos r, cos u, that means there is no terms without u, means that it is homogeneous. But now we can check is linear or non-linear because the coefficient is 1 okay here the coefficient 1 also okay but the coefficient 1 also that means first condition hold the second condition when we expand this term cos r plus u that means cos of a plus b we get cos r cos u minus cos u minus sin u sin r that means this is for this term it is nonlinear for this term it is nonlinear similarly here when we rewrite this equation we get the equation like this but we can see here the power of second derivatives is uh, is true that means is second order but nonlinear because of this power okay 
similarly here r is the dependent variable t is independent variable when we rewrite the equation we can write like this but here the coefficients of d square dr dt square is r r means dependent variable that means function of dependent variable is the coefficient so it is non linear so the highest number derivative is 2 it is second order but in this case there is no r that means this is z of x this is z of x is not zero that means this is a non linear second order non homogeneous ordinary differential equation similarly in question number 7 we can see here in this question number 7 we can see here theta is the independent variable y is the dependent variable so this is order for this one order is 3 number 1 now we can check linear or non linear here the coefficient is sin theta means function of independent variable okay this is also okay and the power also one power also one. that means is a linear now we can determine is homogeneous or non homogeneous we can see here this two two is without dependent variable that means there is no y that means this is z of x so z of x that is not zero means is non homogeneous so it is linear non homogeneous i can write in short and here and it means non homogeneous similarly here we can say the highest order derivative is 2 order is 2 because 2 dot means 2 times derivative here 1 dot means 1 time derivative so here x is the dependent variable t is independent variable but here the power of dependent variables and you, and its derivative you can see dx dt the power is 2 so that means is non linear it's non linear now it is homogeneous or non homogeneous since x is dependent variable so here without x is only zero that means this is homogeneous so in this video we discuss what is differential equation how to classify the type of differential equations how to determine the order how to determine the degree how to confirm that the equation is linear or non linear and how to confirm the equation is homogeneous or non homogeneous in the next video we will discuss how to solve differential equations